I'm David Bookspan, founding partner Dream Adventures and founder and chairman of Monetate. You should always sell it before you build it. One of the things that people are really comfortable with in real estate is the concept of pre-selling units. And in technology, too few people have that comfort level. So in real estate, there won't even be a shovel put in the ground until a certain percentage of the building is already pre-sold. So they know the market, they know the financing, the bank can lend based on it. And yet often in technology and in other startup fields, we just decide we're going to build something and then see if there's a market for it. When I first started thinking about the internet, which was probably around 1995, I kind of viewed the web as the Library of Congress with all the books piled in the, in the middle and no card catalog. And a lot of web experiences still are like that, unfortunately, which is you are thrown into something that doesn't have any particular relevance to you. Search engines are terrific, um, uh, but they are limited in really knowing what it is that you are looking for. Our job at Monetate is, our assumption at Monetate, is that if you're going to a website, it's because you think they have something you want. And it's our job to get that to you as quickly as possible. So David and I got together, shared the idea with him. He thought that it was somewhat interesting, not over the top interesting. Um, and we started meeting with a bunch of friends and contacts in the industry. And we quickly came to the joint conclusion that it wasn't really a viable business for either of us because it would take so long to get into these big corporations and get a new product out. And um, both David and I like doing things a little bit faster than that. So then we started just thinking about what else could we do with the data that came across in the browser session. And David's background was in privacy and email and had e-commerce background from that. And he came up with the idea of, well, what about e-commerce for it? And then we started vetting it out and it seemed like a terrific market where actually the market was upside down. One of our early conversations and when we were just vetting the concept was with the a contact who I had at Sears. And he introduced us to somebody on the store side of Sears and we told him the idea. And um, the gentleman said, you know, guys, I hate to burst your bubble, but we've been doing this stuff in the stores for years. So it's so much easier online. I'm sure we're doing it online. And then a few days later, he called us back and said, you know, I can't believe it, but we're not doing any of this online. So that was one of those epiphany gating moments for David and me, where we thought we might be onto something. Initially, we were looking to build a black box. Um, Monetate is a marketing platform for e-commerce, which enables the customization and personalization of each individual shopping experience or e-commerce experience when they go to a website. Originally, we were building a black box that was gonna just operate on its own. So you plug this in um, and it, the, the website experience would be created. Marketer doesn't do anything, doesn't have any input, etc. And um, David has a great phrase that the market wasn't ready for cruise control without first having a steering wheel. So we then moved to, um, to creating a, a product where the marketer has a lot of control and a lot of input. So that was a very big shift just in our, in our business model. You should always sell it before you build it. So always go into the market with the idea, I don't care if it's, if it's narrative, wireframes, mockups, whatever it is, before you're building your product, try selling it to what you think is your customer base. Um, no business plan has ever survived contact with the market, so get out there into the market and you'll learn very quickly whether there's interest or not in what it is that you're, you're contemplating. And you also might learn, well, the interest isn't in what you're building, but it's a few, or what you're contemplating, but it's a few degrees off. So, you know, you have to course correct towards that.